best fall palettes for 2020. That is what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be going over all of these beauties right here. How is everybody? I hope everybody is doing really well. Everything for me is going much better. My parents so far are recovering really well from COVID. And I thank you so much for all of your well wishes and your love and your extended comments on wishing them well. And I just appreciate so much what everybody said in the comments. And thank you for all of your support. I can't express that enough. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I have an 84 year old mother and an 87 year old dad that contracted COVID and I have been dealing with that for a while. But if you are new here, I do want to say a special welcome to you. I hope that you do decide to subscribe, hit the little bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. And if everybody wouldn't mind doing that, I would really appreciate it. We're going to get into my favorite fall palettes right now. Okay, so I will be swatching all of these out for you. This one first is the Purple Haze. This is the new one from Huda Beauty. And for me and my love of purple, this screams fall. I love this new packaging that they're doing with the little obsession palettes. It's plastic. It is um, looks a little bit more high-end than just that cardboard that she was using. You do get a nice little mirror in there, and I just really love it. The formula is every bit as good as they have had forever, and I just think that they are next level beauties. It's just a great formula. It performs well. There isn't a lot of fallout in these, and I really do appreciate that about them. And the colors in here, you can get several different looks out of. I love that she went with the lighter and the darker color in here. Just works so very well. So that is my first one. My next one is the Nudes of New York palette from Maybelline. And I absolutely think this is just screams fall to me. The colors in here add warmth to the eye. They're just so pretty. You do have a couple of little cool colors in here, which I think are great. I love the mattes in here. They perform fantastic. They are very, very saturated and very beautiful. And I'm just so pleased with this palette. And Ollie's in the frame a little bit there. I think that this was a palette that kind of got a little bit of love at the time, but I feel like this is a palette that I go back to over and over again for a neutral palette that has a little bit of a different twist on it because you do get the golds, you get the um, burnt oranges, and then you get the soft um, little bit on the cooler side right through here. So I really am enjoying this palette. I think it's great to be able to go into the drugstore, pick this palette up for anybody, and be able to have it in your collection. This is just a beautiful fall palette. Now for today on my eyes, I am wearing the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette that was from the vault, and this is Bling Boss. I know that a lot of people didn't like these, but I loved this particular one, and there was another one that had more khaki colors in it. I liked them both. I think that was mood something. Anyway, I liked them both, but this one for me has the purple love in it. I am wearing this one today as my eye look, and I just think it's gorgeous. It's one of those palettes that I look at and I get inspired because I absolutely love purple. And the reason that I think it is a fall palette too is the, co the colors are a little bit deeper. They are a little bit more on the smoky side, but these metallics in here, they're so pretty and they're not like over the moon at metallic to where you would be, oh, I can't wear that. It's really a beautiful metallic. And then on my lid today, I am wearing this one right here. So this is very blendable. It's very creamy. The mattes are really good in here. If you like the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original one, I think that you will like this. I really didn't find much difference in the two formulas as far as that went. I think that it was pretty much the same. So for me, it's one of those palettes that I just really love and that I'm really glad that I have. It does have a mirror up here, by the way, if you're wondering about that. I do like that about these little these little palettes from them, the 10 pans. They did have the mirror and I I just really have liked this one a lot as the weather gets cooler. From Persona, this is the Identity 2 palette. The reason that I wanted to put this palette in here is a couple of things. First of all, I don't reach for this in the summertime and the springtime. The colors just don't speak to me, but in the fall, I get 
loving this palette. I love this pewter blue down here. It's just a beautiful color, but I love this green as well. Now there are a lot, look at how pigmented that is. Wow. There are a lot of colors in here that give you a very warm vibe, but I do love that green. Look how deep that green is. It's just a beautiful green to smudge underneath your eye. And then this pewter is the same thing. I just think that this palette overall is gorgeous. I love this deepened mauve color right here. I just really think it's gorgeous. It's like almost a smoked purple and I just think it's one of those ones that's really really pretty and I reach for this over and over again during the winter because it just gives me those yummy fall feels to it You can definitely do a neutral look out of this and you have these light colors, too So if you're lighter skin you can mix some of these others with them And I think that that's really important and then you have the deeper if you're deeper skinned you can mix those in So this is a palette that can go clear across the gamut and I love this formula I even even though i'm not a person that loves yellow gold that yellow is so bright and so pretty So if you're somebody that goes for that kind of thing. I think that this would be a beautiful palette for you All right Number five is from ColourPop, and this is one of their new ones And this is the wild nothing palette and I wanted to show this to you because I feel like this is a really Pretty palette for giving you lighter looks than other palettes would and I know my deep toned skin gals are gonna say Well, I can't get that. Well, I know that but I'm really light-skinned and I feel like this just really speaks to people that have like medium to really fair skin Because it is so light and it has so many beautiful colors that are still that warmth But at the same time you get that gorgeousness that is the light colors and sometimes palettes really skimp on their light colors And i'll show you a couple here in a minute that i'm talking about but i love this celadon green i think that is so gorgeous it reminds me of like green goddess dressing if you guys know what that is i just think it's so pretty it just really lights up your look and for something different in here to have a different color like that i just think it's so pretty and i really do love this palette it's the same beautiful formula that color pop always has and the creaminess and the great outperforming on their mattes and their metallics it's just so pretty absolutely no glitter in here i think it's one of those palettes that goes so well for fall because it it does have the peaches and then it does have the warmth that you can tie in and I really like that one Now this one is not going to be a surprise for anybody One of my favorite palettes ever is the nubian 3 coral palette from juvia's place and couple reasons first of all if you've never had a juvia's place palette what are you waiting for this formula is absolutely outstanding they have some of the most saturated most gorgeously blendable eyeshadows that i have ever seen and i would highly recommend them to anybody but this palette in particular i loved what they did they gave you four this one and these three down here very very cool toned colors and then the rest of them are very warm toned but this pink right here or it's actually a pink coral is what i should say is one of my very favorite colors that they've ever done because this is such a gorgeous transition color but working with this palette you can get an all the way cool toned look or you can get all the way coral look so i just think that this is one of those ones that goes so good for fall because you have so many looks that you can achieve with it on the neutral side and i think that that is really special about it and honestly i can't say enough about that color right there that silver color it is one of those ones that just blew me away the first time that i used it so bright and just Oh, I love it. And so this palette had to be in my fall lineup. Okay, so my next palette was in my declutter of eyeshadows that I did a while back, my eyeshadow palettes, and I decided to pull it back out. It's from LA Girl, and it's the Pro Artistry palette. And I love these palettes. If you haven't had them, they have a great mirror. This whole entire lid right here is a mirror on the back. It's fantastic. Their packaging is super good especially for the price now i will say if you use this as a regular mirror where you're just holding it all the time and using it for your makeup you're going to have this this come off the lid come off so be a little bit careful about that I, even though the mirror is so great i only use it when i'm using each individual palette just one of those things you have to look out for. Now, I almost decolor, decluttered it because of this color right here and because of this white. There were like little chunky bit of glitter in there, um, but what I found that I was using too much. Now, you can see when I put them on, look how bright and beautiful that is. They're gorgeous. They really are pretty. So that metallic high shine 
goes so beautiful on mature lids because it's a creamy formula. So if you're somebody that has felt like that you haven't been able to wear metallics, you might think about picking up an LA Girl palette that are the 16 pan palettes or the nine pan new ones out because it's the same formula. Why does this speak fall to me? I'm sure that you can already tell. You have these three browns right here that are so gorgeous and just the most neutral browns. So if you're not wanting a terrible lot amount of warmth because you're a very cool toned person in your coloring, that is just a beautiful, beautiful trio right there. Then you get into these gorgeous greens, which I think works so pretty for fall. And you get into these vibrant blues, same thing. I love how they did the coral in here as well. I love this pop of orange. You can sheer that out if you want to with this nude color right down here, which these mattes are really, really good, you guys. And you're gonna see that when I swatch them for you out. But the mattes in here are so creamy and so blendable and so beautiful that I love these palettes. So if there's one that you like better, um, when you look at them all on LA Girl's website or on um, Ulta, or if you are wondering about them, this one would be beautiful for fall. Just remember that on the metallic, sometimes you have to use a wet brush. Sometimes you just have to use less. So I really love the formula on these. Probably my number one formula at the drugstore ever in these palettes, love them. All right, next up is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This is a palette that came out several years ago, but I have put it in my favorites for fall for such a long time for, for a really good reason. First of all, well, this is probably um, a fan favorite for just about everybody that's ever tried any of Urban Decay shadows because of the formula in here, yes, but also because of the color story. First of all, the packaging is so fun. It's got, you know, pictures from all across the world on it. And then inside it has a really great mirror that is the full length of this whole entire thing. So it's great to do your makeup with and the packaging is heavy duty. You have it for years. You're not going to, it's not going to show any wear and tear. And believe me, I am not very nice to my makeup. It gets thrown around a lot and I'm ashamed to say that because I need to be better about my makeup. But I use what I have and so it kind of shows in my palette. But what I love about the color story in here is you get such a diversity. And each of these formulas are great. Great mattes, great metallics, great satins. I think that it, they just knocked it out of the park. So you're getting the purples in here. This is more along the lines of some pinky maroons too. You get all of these neutral colors. If you wanted to take a color and go like this down here as far as, okay, I'm gonna put a trio on my eyes, you can do that in how they laid them out. But you, well, maybe not with this one down here that's really dark. Unless you're very dark skinned, which this would work beautiful for. But you have the pretty green, you have the pretty blues, you have those purples, you have the peaches, the warm colors in here that are the browns and the neutrals in here. This palette is such a good palette. They did such a good job on it. The metallics are a beautiful metallic in there. And I think that what they did in here is really a beautiful, beautiful array that will help you to be really, really creative. Just think that they did such a good job. And there's not a lot of kick up on this palette either. You know, with Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I love because of their formula, but you do get that fallout kick up. You don't get that with this palette. And I think that's great, especially when you're traveling. Sometimes it can just be a little bit messier, but I think that this is one that you will absolutely love if you don't have it. And if you do have it, break it back out for the fall because I think you can get a beautiful array of fall looks out of it. My next one is a dupe for an Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And this is from Alter Ego and this is the Temptress palette. These palettes are only $16 and they duped out Anastasia Beverly Hills absolutely perfectly. And I cannot reiterate that more. This is absolutely perfect dupe for the sultry palette. I think it performed on me a little bit better. I still have my sultry palette and I go back and forth all the time, but I do think that this performs a little bit better than the sultry palette. It seems like they're just a tiny bit more blendable and I do love how gorgeous these shimmers are in here. Again, if you're somebody that doesn't like wearing shimmers and you think I'm too old for shimmers, these are beautiful brightness, no glitter, no chunky, anything like that. But they're mattes, you dip their, your finger in their mattes and they're so buttery and they're so rich. And I just feel like at $16, this is an absolute steal. You do have a mirror in here, a little one. It's an okay mirror, it's not the greatest, 
but the product in here is so worth it. It's really gorgeous. And it does have a really cool packaging on it. It has the raised up gold on there. And I love this kind of look of the fire red with the black on there. I just think it's so pretty. Really love this palette for fall. This is your beautiful cool tone, neutral tone palette to be able to create looks with. You get this pop of um, peach or orange deep peach in here that you can put as a transition color that will brighten up any cool toned look. I just think this is gorgeous. And then recently also at the drugstore, I got this one from Essence. It's the Witch Side. And this palette, I'm sure that they were kind of duping out the Huda Beauty New Nudes, but there's some really interesting things in here that the New Nudes palette doesn't have. First of all, cool packaging. Just has that holographic open the eye and wink the eye thing. I think that's so great. And then you open it up and you do have a nice mirror in there as well on this side up here. And the colors in here are so pretty. They threw in this navy color right here and they threw in this silver color right here. So gorgeous. And then of course, with that look like these have little pebbles in them. This, These are those high metallics that are pretty. This one is just the most beautiful. Oh, it's the most pretty pink kind of on the bluish pink side. It's really pretty. But this palette again takes you into the more cool side, but you can get that warmth very easily from incorporating colors like this one or like this one just so beautiful and i really am impressed with this especially for the price tag i think it's such a good palette at the drugstore really have been loving this one and using this one a lot as well and then for my last palette this is a high-end one these weren't in any really particular order because this wouldn't be my number one palette it would probably be the la girl or the urban decay born to run so you know that i love all of these palettes just about equally for different reasons but the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette is one that is just outstanding to me. I love her formula. Her formula is such a silky formula on the mats. They're just absolutely beautiful and buttery. And if you make a mistake with this palette, which is actually what I did this morning with that Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, I felt like I got it a little bit too deep. I took this color right here and it buffs over top of other shadows to where you get a little bit more light in, in your look. Incredibly beautiful. My two favorite colors in this palette are those two light colors right there. This one is a high metallic and then this one is a very bright matte. And both of those colors just, they're absolutely bombshell colors. I think that this palette is one of those ones that when you look at it, you can go again and you can say, okay, I'm going to use that trio. I'm going to use that trio. And you can get looks that are so different. If you're and ever in doubt about an eyeshadow look, take two colors from that are next to each other, like this color and this color, and then throw in another color or the colors that are here or the colors that are here and then toss in another color with it. What you're gonna have is you're gonna have a trio effect on your eyes, but it's gonna be super simple. So that's kind of what I look at when I open a palette like this. I don't get overwhelmed because I feel like, okay, I'm gonna take two colors. I'm gonna take a light color, I'm gonna take a dark color, and then I'm gonna pick a third color in there to kind of blend it all together. It works so good, and I should probably show you guys that particular formula on my eyes sometime where you can open a palette and do that with just about anything. I probably will do that. That sounds like a pretty good thing for a video. But let me just show you really quickly what these two colors are. You have the metallic pink, and then you have the matte pink. And, and both of them can make any other palette sheer perfection because I can pair it very, very easily with those. So love this palette because it is a little bit more on the cool side on this side and then warm on that side. So you're getting the fall vibes, whether you want to go cool or whether you want to go warm. And then you could take and you could mix the warmth with the cool if you wanted to, too. Beautiful, beautiful palette. One of the ones that has impressed me so much from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the one that I recommend over and over again in so many videos, but for fall, and if you want a little bit of a step up from a fall look, so you don't want to necessarily just go with the warm neutrals, you could do something like this and Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong. It's just a gorgeous palette. So that is all 11 palettes, all the ones that my picks are for the fall. Do you have a favorite palette that you fall back on? One that would really speak like it's the fall season, season like autumn has come and that we're really getting into that with our looks. Let me know that in the comment section below. I would love to hear that from you. Thanks so much for spending a part of your day with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here and I'll catch you all in my next video. Love you guys much. Bye-bye.